Welcome to Family Investment. You see my thumbnail and you see this small, what does it mean? It's BTFD day. What does BTFD mean? Buy the beep dip. But I want it to be, again, systematic. For those who follow me, you know that I've been using a VIX for a very long time. I pen it on my Twitter post. Anything above 16 is where the pressure relief valve for the VIX goes off. And that's when you should be comfortably buying. Okay, not selling. If selling should be done last week, you should be comfortably buying. But now buying needs to be systematic. When I systematic, what do you mean? Buy trigger database has got my valuation and my buy trigger. Go pick and choose what you want. If it's on my buy trigger database, the stock, that means it's a thumbs up. If it's not in there, it means there's a reason why I didn't put it in there. So use it, it's free guys. And um, let's start on a few things today. Not too much details, but stuff that I spot an observation because this is a day-to-day -day progression development. We don't start buying everything, but this is a time to splash the cash. And for those who've been speaking to me two, three months ago saying, Alex, I've got so much cash holdings, I don't know what to buy. Guys, this is your opportunity. I've tried very hard to explain. I've been patiently hoping bringing you with me on the journey. And this is the opportunity. But again, you need to be make sure the value and the trigger levels are around about that zone. Technical analysis is right. And that's why I summarize on the database on buytrigger.io. Use it, guys. Use it, use it, use it. Okay, let me start with the chart on VIX. I've shared this on Twitter today. I wish everybody best. Hit 16. It's not going to just go boop and come down. It will stay 16 perhaps a week or two or three. Okay? This is where everything's oversold. People are taking profit. People are just systematically taking profit. But this is the time if you want to capture your favorite stocks and diversify, this is time to buy. But all I'm saying is not just going to give a V rebound. There's no such thing as a V rebound here. Okay? Things will come to the earnings and then come to the next quarter. Quarter this gives me more confidence in Q4 going forward and in 2025, a very, very bullish, strong year. And why 16? Because 16 is a sequence that I've seen over the last 12, 14, 15 months. Every time you hit the last week, it goes. This is not, I'm, I never told you this, but if you hit 16, hovers 18 for a few weeks and things recover, it will drop. And when it drops from 18 and perhaps all the way back to 11 again, you see a great bull momentum, maybe breakaway. I hope this happens later after autumn, okay? And if it goes, if it goes even stronger on the buy, by Q4, if things goes really well, forecast, and then we might break below 11. And I'm actually looking at the nine. I've never mentioned this, but this is how bullish I am if things goes well. Sometimes I go in too early, people think I'm crazy. So I do it systematic step by step. I'm looking at VIX nine, but I need it to play the plan out, okay? At the moment, just focus on the buy to dip. This might be the last opportunity to buy. It could last a week. It could last two weeks. It could last four weeks. So. Let's watch and learn. So when you buy, some folks say, Alex, do we buy? Do we go crazy? Take your time. Take your choice. If it lasts long, then take your time. But I don't just rush all in at the same time. If it lasts four weeks, you still could DCA with your next month's salary potentially. So this is an opportunity to buy. Okay, now looking at my observation, I look at Meta and I notice there's a start in Meta. It's starting to bounce up. It's below its 50 and 200 day on a four hour, which is starting to bounce up, but it's still within the channel. So Folks, some folks say Meta is good to buy. Yeah, why not? Meta is still under my valuation. You know, I did pick a few and this is where I am. And I look at Micron, finally a nice doji, not a star, but a nice bullish reversal. Potentially that might be the bottom just below the 200 moving average. So watch and observe. Nvidia, still not there, still not on my buy trigger zone, so be patient. If I want to buy Nvidia, I need to wait for it to hit the Feb level at 113, which is also on my buy trigger level. Next, Uber, that's one disaster one. I was hoping for a reversal, but because of the CEO selling the shares, I mean, he sold a lot of shares, one third of his portion of shares, which is very bearish. It could drop to as low as 64, but earnings coming up, I hope he can turn it around, but nothing I can control. I'm holding, I'm holding, but I'm monitoring very, very, very closely. And looking advanced, AMD. Advanced Micro Device, I've got back in again. I told everybody on Twitter today, I told everybody on uh, YouTube as well. I've got back in, I noticed it hit the bottom end. I'm not saying that it's the bottom, it could go lower. That could be a sign of a rebound. 
but it could be a sign of a slow gradually recover back up to the upper band and perhaps like I said I'm not gonna be ambitious my end of the year $200 December or January okay and then moving on I don't think I've got any 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 of them left so this is me for today it's a daily thing I hope to share I'm always on Twitter I'm also on YouTube this is my two main platforms I share and I know my Telegram has been great for me. It's a great testing phase. A lot of people have been asking me, Alex, when can I get on the Telegram? It's not ready. I'm trying to get it from down. I'm trying to get the club from down. Well, I think maybe I'm a bit too ambitious trying to put too many things together. I'm really double thinking whether I should just release the Telegram app without the training videos out first. So give me ideas, guys. Tell me what you guys feel about it. It's been really, it's been working very well. I've actually used it myself. It's just go, oh, wait. You know, things have popped up, especially AVGO. So it dipped below 160. I went, hmm, I did buy a bit. And then after a few hours, it went and said, oh, AVGO is closed. Valuation is closed. It's above 160 now. So it was quite interesting. Even for, it's like talking to an AI bot telling me what to do. Okay, so this is me, guys. Uh, be patient. Stay safe. Invest safe. Remember, stay in control. Mental is very important. Do not get out of control. Do not go in a bad mood just make sure they're all the same i'm here to chat leave a comment below hope to see you guys soon take care bye bye